For this particular project, we're going to be installing a groupware. What a groupware is, is it's an enterprise software used to manage contacts, appointments, and many other business collaboration tools. It is accessible by a web interface and is a LAMP-based software. LAMP, for those of you who don't know, is Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And in our instance, we're going to be using Fedora 10 X64 for our OS. The minimum is a Pentium 3 or better processor, 500 megabytes of hard drive space, and 256 megabytes of RAM. So the first steps to our installation process is we need to provide it with a web server. So we'll be installing Apache server, the MySQL and the PHP. The PHP is for the scripting support. And lastly, lastly, we are going to install the Groupware package repository so we can set up the packages to be installed with YUM. So what we're going to do is one command line with YUM install HTTPD, HTTPD tools, MySQL, MySQL server, PHP and PHP MySQL. It's easier to execute all of this at once and configure it afterwards. <coughs> the next step of our installation is going to be uh, done using wget and we're going to be grabbing the repository package from the following URL. HTTP download.opensuse.org repositories server egroupware rhel5 server egroupware.repo Then we're going to need to copy this to slash etc slash yum.repos.d You can put a name of uh, what you want to call the repo on the end of this line. Once we do that, you can use the editor of your choice to verify that you have the repository now and that it's enabled. Now at this point we can do a yum search for egroupware and you'll notice that now you have all of the groupware packages available. So now all we have to do is type in yum install egroupware with the capital G and it'll install the package we need and any known dependencies left. Now it seems that we have all the tools that we've needed to install. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to move on to the configuration process. For those of you who have never installed MySQL, you're going to notice that MySQL starts on the install. And root access must be configured or you can't log into MySQL with or without a password. So what we're going to need to do is stop the service By typing in service mysql stop d stop you can use the same command to restart the service just typing in start and you'll notice when we restarted the service it reminds you you need to set the root password and it gave us one handy little line that we can copy
paste into our command line and put the password of our choice in between the quotes. In our example we're going to use password one exclamation. Assuming you've set this up right, you should now be able to log in with the password that you've just set. If you get the MySQL command line, that means you're in. You can type in quit to exit. Now we need to set the services to boot on system startup. We can use the check config command to set the services to on. So for our instance with MySQL, we can type in check config MySQL D on. Now you notice we can convert we can confirm this with the check config pipe grep. MySQL D. This shows you that the run levels 2, 3, and 5 are now services that start automatically on boot. So we can do the same thing with our Apache here by doing check config HTTPD on. And you can check it the same way that you check MySQL. Now what we can do is restart and we can restart the uh, Apache service. And another thing you guys need to keep in mind at this point is is you could have confirmed both of these with one command line of check config pipe grep dash capital E MySQL pipe HTTP that would have told you the same thing in less steps. Now that we've restarted our Apache server, that means we should be able to go to a website and type in HTTP localhost slash egroupware. Another way that you can do that is the 127.0.0.1. That is another term for localhost here. And if we've did everything correctly, we now have a groupware installed, so our next steps will be the configuration process.